track weather with meteorologist Christina Reese. Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for joining us here on KSNT News. For the first time in a couple of weeks, we are just being overwhelmed by all the sunshine for your Saturday. Not even a cloud in the sky over the Little Apple right now. And the same goes across downtown Topeka. It's been sunny, but also comfortable. We're at 70 degrees here in the capital city, which is our current high for today after starting off this morning on the cool side at 44 degrees. Most spots across northeast Kansas right now, though, are still pretty close to that 70 degree mark, getting as cool as 66 in High Rotha right now. It's 69 in Lawrence, 68 for Berlin. Burlington, but a pair of 71s both for Council Grove as well as Junction City. Winds are generally light, but have picked up a little bit for the second half of the day. More so out of the east now at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. That wind starts to stay the same throughout the course of the night, but it will shift direction a little bit, becoming more so of a southeast wind even by daybreak tomorrow. Now, tomorrow, though, will be more so on the breezy side as these winds start to pick up, mainly still out of the southeast, but we're looking at sustained winds between 15 and 25 miles per hour. Gusts could near 30 miles per Hour times and these kind of stronger winds are not confined just to Sunday. They spill over into Sunday night into Monday morning as well. These winds don't die off much. Heading out the door Monday morning to get back to work or school, it will be on the breezy side. Those winds still at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. But Sunday and Monday, if you had to compare the two, Monday will be more so on the windy side, but more of a south wind due south. Slightly stronger though at 20 to 30 miles per hour, and gusts could near 40 miles per hour at times on Monday. But with a south and southeast wind, that typically brings in some warmer air, and it's going to do just that within the next couple of days. But throughout the course of the night tonight, these temperatures will start to fall back pretty similar to where we were this morning. 40s, maybe some low 50s for some of our western areas. That southeast wind kicks up and will be warmer for tomorrow. Many of us getting into the 70s, maybe near 80 degrees. But as that wind stays on the breezy side Sunday night into Monday, it just can't allow those temperatures to fall much. It will be mild heading out the door. 50s and 60s turn into widespread 80s come Monday afternoon. A quick check of satellite and radar shows just how quiet we are across the region right now, but we're keeping a close eye on a couple disturbances. The first one are these kind of bands of showers pushing off of the four corners into the Rockies. This could hold up to give us a slight chance of rain tomorrow. The main storm system is still brewing off of the Pacific Northwest, and as it draws near, that gives us the setup for potentially some severe weather. But for the rest of your Saturday evening, we are nice and quiet. Clouds start to build in with the ever so slight chance of a brief sprinkle or spotty light shower early tomorrow. Otherwise, most areas stay dry. You'll just see more cloud cover for your Sunday. Some storms could fire up for uh, Sunday night into Monday, but that looks to stay off to our west. And as it closes in, we'll be on the dry side. It fizzles out. But then we shift gears to our midweek storm chance. And that's because that south wind will start to bring in some moisture. And this is humidity here. So keep an eye on some of the green here. Notice that what happens as we get into Tuesday. Some of that brighter green moves in for Tuesday. We still have the chance for strong to severe storms. Best chance looks to be more so in Oklahoma, and I think even including portions of south central Kansas. The main question with this, especially as we get into Wednesday, though, as we pump in some of this moisture, notice the brighter green now getting into eastern portions of Kansas, but look at what happens as we get into the early afternoon. It starts to break apart. Wednesday, we could see rounds of storms. Not everything strong too severe, but it zaps some of the moisture and energy. Even though we have the triggers in the front and the dry line to help fuel some of these storms, still, it's a few days out. We'll continue to keep you updated on this because the moisture will still be there for some of the storms. It's just can they kind of sustain themselves? Otherwise, for tonight, Little to no cloud cover. We're calling for a low 45 degrees here in the capital city. A final look at your KSNT storm track seven day forecast sh shows we will be on the warmer side through the next few days, but otherwise we will get back into the 80s. 